Our sages tell us that the first human being, Adam, was called so because the name Adam, Adam, is etymologically related to the word Adame, which means similar, because the human being is Adam of Elyon. The human being is similar to, to God. And one of the ways in which the human being is similar to God is in the desire, the innate desire, the desire embedded within every human being to be a creative productive, giving member of society, to be a giver as opposed to a receiver, to be a giver as opposed to a recipient. And this desire, this innate um, yearning of the human being is really a reflection of the divine because God is the ultimate giver. God is by, by, by definition, the creator of everything. It doesn't depend on anything. It doesn't depend on any human being, any entity. God is the ultimate giver. And God gave us this great gift of embedding within us this very same nature. We have this divine nature of wanting to be a giver, wanting to be a contributor, wanting to be a productive member of society. And it's this which we commemorate Rosh Hashanah, the recognition, the acknowledgement of who we are and what we reflect. And to really take the strength, take the energy, take the inspiration of Rosh Hashanah and to ultimately have that reflect in our daily lives by emulating the divine, by being the most productive, the most creative, the most giving people that we can be.